Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you, the weekend update. We got all kinds of little updates. We got some more 9.1 things to hit. I got another item to show you at the tail end. We got a calendar. I've got to talk about some uh, important factors coming out. I know I look sort of like a granny, right? Uh, nope, no pun intended because I'm going to be put under here this next week and I don't want to be losing my glasses. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab a lanyard really quick just so that I can kind of leave them like right there. <laughs> and not have to worry like where did i put them and then i'll forget that i have them there uh, so why don't we get into this shan't we dr fox back here with you with the weekend update i'm glad to have you along i appreciate you coming along thanks for sticking around with me it it, it means the world to me this may or may not be the final no i don't want to sound that morbid um i i god forbid let's hope i go under i just Something I want to I want to cover really quick here. Um, when I went under the first time, I tend to have high triglycerides, so that can lead to um, some circulation troubles. And last time, now this was four years ago, and I worked very very diligently, and I weighed a little less than I do now, and uh, I was I, I had the opportunity to be a little bit more active and I'm getting myself back into being much more active I'm walking four days a week um, I'm still working out six days a week I do Tai Chi on Sundays I do uh, yoga on Tuesdays uh, and I, I continue to be moving around so much and now with the the second second floor I'm going up and down every single morning and night as well up the stairs and down so that helps and then I'm constantly moving around and still do, doing a lot anyway with that said to kind of come back they had a little trouble pulling me out of putting me under for that first time. So I'm just prepping for the worst. Let's, God forbid, hope that y'all be seeing me in a few weeks. And maybe uh, there's no guarantee, but I, I would absolutely love it if at some point, even if I can't talk, I'm hoping maybe I can surprise y'all with like a couple of some papers where I can write a few things just kind of checking in get letting you know I'm alive and I'm functioning I'll try to do that on uh, Twitter and Instagram if I if I don't I'll probably share how terrible I look at right after surgery I'm gonna look like someone beat the crap out of my face so just a heads up on that um, let's give you a disclaimer in advance in case some of that stuff is um, kind of a, a struggle for for some of y'all so I, I think we'll kind of leave it there. We're going to shift gears. I want to cover some of these uh, bullet points that uh, had come up as well. And um, just before we get into that, I'm also excited if you guys check out my Instagram over there. That's always in my link uh, down in the description. I always put my, my Instagram and info down in there. And Yeah, I have a couple of fun little cheesy TikToks, but... <laughs> they're blocking them because they're, you know, yeah, I try to use the songs that they have, but they're so short. And uh, then they blocked it when I, God forbid, used a full song, even though I know other people that use lip sync songs and they're able to get away with it. And I know there's factors involved in that. But anyway, so with that, I shared on Instagram. Um, we, I decorated the, the uh, porch area for about 20 something dollars. I went to the Dollar Tree and I was already on a pretty limited budget anyway. And I've been, I've been selling a lot of these these uh, transformers that I've been slowly putting together my collection up here um, that I will hopefully hopefully when I come back I will be able to start to from so I like to call it the beginning of Gen 1 and be able to share uh, something from the museum on a weekly basis I've started to share a few over the last few weeks I've got a lot of you to to, to um, been asking me for that and I'm grateful for that so I I at a very low income uh, amount I went out and I was able to uh, mildly decorate. I wish I could post up like a photo, like right when I'm saying this. I have trouble with, with my editing software and issues with it right now. But uh, So I, I did accomplish that and I'm all excited because we're about to hit fall or some call it like the uh, uh, first day of the, you know, as we change seasons uh, as well. And... Uh, it, it gets me excited. You know, Goonies comes on around this time of year. A lot of the fall ones. I'm starting to... Usually I wait till the month of October, but I've started to catch a few Halloween flicks again just to kind of get me in the mood a little bit. I'm excited when Dunkin' Donuts starts dropping. I don't usually... I'm not a huge Dunkin' Donuts person, for those that know me. But 
I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the little munchkins again to have the little uh, like Halloween ones and I saw it, they even made a really cool one with like a donut with like a, a donut hole in the middle on it and then they put like little black it looks like a spider it's kind of cute um, I'm not a big fan of like the pumpkin stuff and I'm sorry if I'm I don't want to sound like again that's just my own taste I don't want to sound like like I know a lot of people I know that really enjoy the like the pumpkin spice and stuff I'm not a big fan of that but I am excited I did get myself some apple cider so I've been I can't have it extensively we we learned this the hard way when I was very 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 young and I overdid it and I had really bad rash breakout it was really really terrible so I I can have it in small increments let me put it that way and uh so I found that at the Dollar Tree, and so I was putting together, no, not, not the apple cider, sorry, the, uh, the uh, uh, decorations. And I needed one more part to extend my, my window. I had to get one of those little black frail sort of curtain uh, hanging thingies, whatever they call those. I forget the name of those things. but uh, uh, So I got that up there, and I'm enjoying a little, little apple cider. And I've been stocking up on a lot. I'm going to be changing to over to a lot of liquids. I'll try to share some of that process not just for prosperity but and again remember every i want to put a disclaimer out here everybody's system is different so you want to make sure that you're checking and not just following exactly what you're seeing either i i, I i'm grateful but i don't want to think that i don't want that to misinterpret like i remember a long time ago i shared uh, how many meds i'm using um or my hormone therapy meds just so people could see what i was taking um, at that point and I made sure to put a disclaimer in there that says do not take this exact amount because everybody's body is is different and how it reacts and whatnot and I'm I'm still having my migraines in this area as well and I think um we'll we'll now shift gears I've got a lot of other things to talk about as well I wanted to hit a few bullet points on a, on a few of those aspects first and kind of where I'm at, and we'll get more into what I've been up to and things like that as as we get later into um, today's program. But uh, if we get into the wow for the 9.1.5, um, more updates coming down through here. We've got like the uh, uh, grateful offering callings as well uh, to do to allow for like more anima uh, for, for for your am I saying it right conductor conduit. <laughs> Look at this terrible. Um, I put all my notes together, and I half of the time I can't read um, um, my notes for that. But uh, that that's uh, the those for for mythic. Uh, that's been nerfed a bit. Uh, the Nero. Um, uh, gosh, I had the word earlier. The raging uh, necro. But, but, uh, they've nerfed that. Uh, the account wide. That they put in the account wide backslash ignore. They're trying to find little ways to kind of help cut down on some of this, this negative spam and trolling and the the negative part of the trolling, uh, if you will. But again, I we know that no matter what you do, there's no perfect way to do this. Um, these are just tweaks of them. Again, still trying to sh to sh to do this kind of thing. And uh, just as a quick side note, I don't know. I just find it very frustrating and no one's really talking about it even though there's a bunch of folks uh w with all the sexual allegations going it like we're getting uh, attractive chica, uh, chica pictures in in the game being changed to fruit fruit um, and you know we're gonna kind of leave that in your own it's like that's happening there but then like I'm not going to get into this topic because I know no matter what I say, like it'll be taken out of context. Um, someone could edit it and make it sound a certain way. Um, like a lot of, and I know a lot of other streamers are covering this kind of stuff. I just, I wanted to hit a couple of bullet points that they're doing more in-game changes for for these fantasy images that, that, that were in there. And I understand that within reason, of course. Okay. Um, but that's a whole conversation for a whole different discussion uh, at this point as well. So uh, we've got the um, uh, 9.1.5. The Mage Tower is coming back now. I know a lot of people got very ticked off and irate. They're like, that was a one-time thing. We got, you know, if you got your things, that was awesome. It's a lot like the times every time you leave a, a patch behind. 
something comes and then like there's this limited time to get it there's a lot of chances you know that some people are very irate about they put all that hard work and energy into it now they're like well now so and so can get it and it's like become frivolous uh and i get that but i think there's a time and place for that and i think if you're gonna allow for an opportunity for them to sort of look back and go through these legacy expansions again allowing for a person to have a second chance at something that they never got done the first time because of certain factors involved uh, we shouldn't be penalized for that even though others will disagree with that but that's a whole different conversation also for a different one and i i I think we're going to have to kind of see how it unfolds but i i think with that there's going to be a like a fair a fell uh werebear uh druid form uh, as well, we've also got that uh, when they had voted on getting, uh, there was these um, different mounts that we had voted on, um, and we ended up winning the uh, the free mount we got was the the big elderly tree mount walking type, and there was another one in there. It was like a flying spell book that you could fly on, and if you do all the seven different sets inside the mage tower, you'll get this like magic book. Um, so the, it, it's quite a challenge to do it. If you do the different challenges, I tried doing the challenges back when it was originally there. Man, that was tough. And then some will say, you're just a bad player. <laughs> like, it's not about that. Like, there should be... I'm uh, not gonna... It, now, I know matter no matter what I say, someone's gonna just tear me apart anyway, so... And that that's not what I'm about here. Uh, The big pet battle, uh, it's good to see some changes come to that. We're going to get like 50% buffering. I would love to see, I'm not going to, everyone's going to have a different opinion about this, but it'd be kind of like in the way we saw, like playing the original Pokemon. And you'd have to get like experience share and you'd have to level like one character at a time. And it's very monotonous. And then in the newer ones, you can just level and like you're given XP to like all the characters. Uh, all the pets, a.k.a. if we translate it into looking at pet battles in here. And I'd love to see that where you get XP and it all gets distributed to all three and it continues. And it sort of does that in a sense. But And uh, speaking of that, a couple of good starter ones uh, to start it. Or not starter ones, but um, for catching. Uh, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Uh, is Grumpy. Uh, it, there's a great com- combo with, with Grumpy. Uh, some people will use like um, Icky or one of the uh, Zandalarian ankle biters or renders. Uh, some like to use the Nexus Whelpling or maybe like the Brew Pup, especially since we have the Harvest Festival going on right now as well. And then we've got like Brew Fest coming up. So uh, that's just a, a couple of few, uh, j- just to mention really quick. And it would be interesting to kind of see how that uh, un- unfolds as well. Um, just allowing you for those, catching those wall pets a little bit. Hopefully slightly easier options. Uh, more alt options as well. The BOA Valor Conquest gear. For a lot of those folks that have already geared all up now, they've got these extra points. And they want, you can now buy items with that Conquest uh, and Valor. And you can send it now to an alt so they're making some more of these alt friendly changes coming along that that we're seeing as well the activist codex uh rep there's some improvements coming there supposedly it'll be a little bit easier to get more rep options there's going to be some items you can buy that will allow you to like get more rep out of it and if for some reason someone wants to go back and rep grind an old character or they decided now i want to play this i like this character instead and they decide to to rep grind that way um and it'll help for if you change your covenants and things like that. So uh, let's see. Relic Fragment additions as well. Soul Cinders and uh, some of the boost items uh, as well. Uh, just upgrades, upgrades, and more upgrades. I think we'll, we'll kind of leave it at that, I think, for now. We, we've got a lot of other things to discuss as well. I, I want to share with you all um, some of the steps here. Uh, as we move into prepping for surgery, I, I, I've been, I talked to some and they're like, wow, Jen, you're very calm for this big, massive surgery coming up. Because I've been mentally prepping for this for like 30 plus years. You know, it, it, it's... <sighs> so we get to that point and then like within 
I had already had a hotel like res- reserved like way back, like six months ago, uh, for the for the ones that that I'm staying at, and uh, they suggest it's a suggest they just they send you these list of like suggestions to do through the through the um, um, uh, procedure as as you go along the time sensitive things to do, and then. Uh, we get down to to so that would be to to reserve the the room i got that done actually like like i said like six months ago and the uh let's see the um so a month in advance was um prepping to to get things on my grocery list i had been laying things out now for the last quite a few months literally since i've moved in here since since i think it was like mid-june I've been putting things on my on my counter out in the kitchen, just solely prepping it for that, only to have some horrible person come by and be like, what is all this mess there for? You know, I just want to tell them to, uh, it's, you know, I'm like, are you paying for my place here? No, Our, but it, it, it's more complicated than that. Um, so I've been prepping for for those, and I brought down my 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 luggage this weekend, and I'm I've been in the corner over here. I've been prepping um, to start. I I check my closet. I've been bringing a few items down. I'm doing laundry. This mat like these two big loads of laundry today, prepping for what items I'm gonna start for putting in. I've had some things uh, packed into the little like zip tie bags. I'm gonna bring some zip tie bags because I gotta be picking out my meds on Monday think because i gotta go in and even though i have my index card that shows that i already have my my two covid shots for for pfizer um i've got to take a a quick or like the uh what do they call that the quick turnaround co- the, the, the quick covid test or whatever i gotta do that on on monday morning pick up a couple of narcotics i'm not a fan of taking those for an extended period of time those can be very very addicting and a lot of people will come up with excuses to keep taking those for an extended period of time and i will end up suffering i have had to suffer a lot and that's part of the to kind of lead back a lot of people like how are you so calm in this i said i have already had to mentally suffer so much for so long physically suffer mentally suffer uh, for decades nobody Nobody in their right mind should have to suffer this long. And I know some I've met that go, geez, if I would have had to suffer that long or if I couldn't have transitioned a long time ago or if, and technically I did, it's just my transition got pulled out because of horrible people that are greedy, selfish, angry. Um, that, that There's just, there's a whole list of ungodly, you know, when you try to prep for uh, for, for for this kind of circumstance that there, there's so much involved and and there's so much red tape and when people say things like oh that hokey religion that's a line from from star wars uh, new hope uh, but i don't quite mean it like that it's the the when it, when they say it like that it's more like what i'm saying is not the religion itself because there's part of me that has a spiritual side as well but that's not my point. I'm not insulting individuals who have a belief. What I'm getting at is some of the really negative people and what they do with it. And I'm not insulting others who have a belief in that. That's not my. That's not what I'm getting. At. A lot of people take these things that I that I talk about way out of context, and they misinterpret those. And what I'm getting at is the way that they present and they use that old Neanderthal way of thinking and use a human side of thinking behind it it slows down our process then we put we'll put through so much red tape of course some red tape should be there for certain circumstances but then it doesn't help when you get all society out there and someone's telling you oh you're just a gross disgusting male butt uh not even when you do all that or you got these gross disgusting male hands or male feet and you're already feeling uh inadequate already and you're having tubes put down your throat and you're doing testing and you, you you have voice lessons and you try to find this level or someone makes you feel terrible when they're when they when they think they're helping you and all these horrible things there's just this whole like i should just sit here and just like play that music dun, 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 dun. like i have all those credits go by of all the horrible crap that's involved here and and then you meet up with an old friend of yours that you hadn't seen in decades 
and you think, oh, they're gonna, you know, you were gonna come out to them and, and they're gonna embrace it. And uh, they're mortified. Or uh, I remember some of my um, ex women, uh, women I knew in my past, they're like, oh, this is too much for me. Or, oh, you're trans. I don't wanna talk to you. See you later. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're too, I like, I'm too this or I'm too that or, you know, it's, it, it, it makes you start wanting to feel like someone, um, tells you that there's all that, like, they're just looking for these quote unquote excuses, if you will. And, you know, when, when they start telling you, you know, you're, you're, well, you're trans and they have this terrible issue with it and then someone like vomits and goes I, I i'm so nervous i gotta get up i am no stranger to having i'm already awkward myself only to have another awkward person have to say these horrible gross disgusting things to you when when they're not needed um and they think we should be in a mental institution or that we're going to be psychotic killers because t- terrible film has has misinterpreted who we are it's the person it's not the transition itself you know it's like you know it it shouldn't matter whether you're trans or non-binary or whether someone gets nerve easily nervous or you know abrupt aggressive or doesn't smile enough or you know always uh, you know you're you're it's what the way society defines you as attractive and it doesn't mean we're spending all this money to look better of what society defines as attractive. And this, that, that, this is needed. It's a medical necessity and think it's no, it's frivolous. It's, it's the, you know, or whether, you know, someone smokes or doesn't smoke or whether someone's white or black or Afghanistan or Japanese or Indian or, 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 or Cuban or, or just orange purple po- with polka dots or someone maybe in the future that'll be from Mars or, or any shade of color of the rainbow that surrounds our region, whether someone's tall, small, I feel like I'm starting to do like a, like a Dr. Seuss thing or something, you know. Uh, you know, whether someone is, say, maybe overweight challenged or, 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 or too thin, if you will, or, or disabled or, or in a wheelchair or, which I never like that word anyway, but, uh, you know, or say someone's missing a limb, they, they're so uncomfortable with these human be- the, the, these beings that just exist. It's just, it, we should be able to just look at them and go, you know, I, I just see a human being right there when I'm talking to him. I don't see him. Or, you know, it, it's really <laughs> mentally exhausting. Or when they, when they say, uh, you just ignore it, but you can't just ignore it. You know, or the passive aggressive ones that just, they don't want to hear about it. Uh, or the ones that um, just, you know, they force their their misinterpreted or their interpretation of belief on you is what I was kind of saying earlier as well. And there's so much more. It's like, it's like that, that, that Terminator 2 uh, line when, when the, the young uh, actor, you know, shares with the, with, with the, um, the group there. With, with the Terminator and he's talking about, you know, it's like the humanity has an inapt warning, wanting to kill oneself or others as well and just end one's own life, you know. This is what's wrong with people. God, you know, it's just like, can we all just coexist in, in this rainbow of colors without having to go out and wanting to, oh my God, you did one little thing and I'm massively angry. You cannot exist anymore. Or... They're so malicious, they're like, okay, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to, uh, you don't deserve A, B, C, D, and F. So I'm going to maliciously, like, put all these insects and make it infest your home. And because if I can't live there, no one can. And then it will slowly deteriorate the home into nothing. And um, just these really massively evil ways that they don't want you to function or they really want you to suffer horrifically in some form you know it's almost like the um getting acid spilled on oneself and then your 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 now your face is uh disfigured i don't like that word but you know there's individual or maybe someone had gotten you know drastically burned and now they're suffering the rest of their life you know i i send out my my mo- my my most condolences for anyone that's had to suffer these kinds of things i'm trying to use what i'm getting at here is there's these visuals 
the these audio uh, the, the the not just visual there's the visual and the audio that's involved in having such a problem because someone's just trying to function i never asked anybody i never came on here and begged for money i never you know, asked for a handout. I never stood at the side of the road, thank God. And I feel bad for anyone that's had to suffer doing that. There's a lot of list of reasons why this happens and why these individuals, and again, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm trying to use examples of a lot of these uncomfortable feelings that a lot of people have and they want to use that or they want to just get away from it. And they're like, I don't want to hear this. That, like, I'm going to click this off now. Goodbye. And if you're actually sticking around, I appreciate that. But, you know, to share within the the, the, the chaos of what we have to suffer with every single day. And I'm not saying, you know, look, we all have some things we suffer with. We all have some family members we've lost. Um, and again, there's factors involved there, whether someone feels or doesn't feel about something, depending on who the factor and the individual was. I'm just trying to use a list of examples. And if it was me keeping my notes, if you might have noticed that I kept looking glancing down this way i had to put my notes together to make sure that i could stay on track to get through those all those major topics because i wanted to try to hit a lot of those bullet points of uncomfortableness of where of where we are and you know when when you when you share that you want to be able to share something that's more um joyful as we kind of slowly bring things back up a little bit really quick and as i discuss this it's like you know i I, I have some things lined up. I hope that here's bringing some hope that things bounce back and I, maybe I'm going to be a little bit more and, I'm, and I feel disgusting to even say these words because but this is how people and society and issues make us feel around us. But we're not doing it because of that. This is our own thing that we need to do so I can, there's a whole list of reasons why I need this done. It's a, me, a medical necessity. But when you when you prep your life for something and you can have joy and share that joy with other people around you. Being able to literally, there's these small possibilities of being able to possibly do some 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 more um, film work because I've spent my life studying and I feel like I should have my own masterclass. And I guess in a sense you're getting the free masterclass because you're watching it for free on here. I'm not charging you. You know, it was all it was all my hard-earned money. I worked very, very, very hard for decades to get here and pay for all this myself. I gotta send out one one very, very special a uh, lady though. Um, she may not even be listening, or she could be long gone, and who who knows? But I just want to spend. She took me out to eat. I think it was about a decade ago, and she had donated to me a one hundred dollars. So I am very, and I have said this many, many times. I am extremely grateful for her to do that amazing thing and it meant the world to me because it really gave, and I had used that towards and I've done it to help other trans get some of their uh, meds that they couldn't so I didn't want someone to think I just use it on myself I didn't it was I distributed it to help some individuals who couldn't get get main care Medicare coverage uh, to get insurance and again this isn't going to be reimbursed by insurance people think trying to maneuver through that that insurance so clearly there's some magic words that are happening i've talked to some other trans and somehow they get it magically covered by these insurances and i tried to get covered by these insurances and they won't they won't get give me the coverage or they're going to charge me so much money i can't even afford a single penny to have it and then when i have those programs for an extended period of time they won't cover it and they pushed me through all these rigmaroles so i end up dishing out these massive amounts of money and then i'm and then i'm strapped for the next five ten years and let's just god forbid hope that my therapist sticks around that long because you've got your red tape involved in not just that but then i've got to come up with enough money to go back and finish doing uh hair removal and laser treatments and i can't just take a volume to relax i have to drive myself there you've got your numbing cream to do that and you've got to be able to get through that ah but the 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 military will cover some laser treatments but guess what most of the people i work with for doing laser treatments don't are run not reimburse don't work with the military so i have to go out and find someone that doesn't work with them i've tried to find ones that work with them and they're they're so scarce to find that okay so there's already some financial struggles uh and then there's these other levels. Then you got to find someone who's even comfortable enough to work on you because they're like, oh, Dr. Fox, I will, oh, they use my real name. 
but but they're like, I will work on your face, your neck, your chest, your underarms, you know, all all these regions, except I will I will not work in that particular region without getting uh, I'm talking about the medical if we look at it medically we don't need to be all weird and gross and disgusting about the, the, the sexual side of things that's not my point here so you've got all those factors to, to to maneuver through first okay then if you are lucky enough to actually find a surgeon that will work on you oh hold on you've got to be able to not only maneuver through the individual out front that sort of does the intake so they won't even let you talk to the surgeon until you show your two letters that have proven but but hold on i have had two letters then i had to not and i wasn't getting coverage for a while so i needed to update my letters so i was dishing out thousands and thousands of dollars to therapists and then i found one over here uh just not too far away and and i made sure to ask her and someone goes well i'm gonna make sure of that i did make sure of that and i got in there and i said first day i said I just want to make sure that you'll be able to help me after the six months or a year that I spend time with you. And of course, I got the quintessential, there's no guarantee, of course. So we go through six months, we get about to the almost seven, eight months section. I'm like, I really need these updated letters now. Nope, sorry. Spent all that money on them. None of it was reimbursed by Main Care Medicare or after I had suffered for 15 years. To, to go through three hearings, five lawyers, only to finally get military um, coverage. And then they won't cover it either. And that's put me through a lot of ring where, heck, I've been denied life insurance twice from the supposedly two slightly easier ones. Oh yeah, sure, term life insurance. Yeah, they'll, they'll give me a coverage for that. No, I need whole and they won't give me whole. And the first one denied me because of medical reasons. And there was a, I should sit here with that song again. Da, 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 da. And I have like all these lists of medical reasons why they, they won't do it. Then the second one was, it wasn't about that. But uh, if you really want to know, you can't email us. You can't call us. You have to write an old fashioned letter to us. You can't email that letter. It's going to be like filled out and you got to send it. Now I already have carpal tunnel from trying to write or even use my my wrist for an experimented period of time so you got to do all that now if you even then when you get okay so now we come back right and you're i'm still trying to get in to get the surgery done for what i call in phase three you can't even talk to the surgeon until you have the two letters now the letters have to be under one year active now look i get it some trends change their mind some trends don't want to do that. Some don't want to be even be defined as a trans. They want to be non-binary. And I'm not dissing any, anyone non-binary. I send my love to non-binary all the time uh, for those that n- truly know who I am. This is not the, a lot of times people take the, my, my context out of context. And I'm using these as examples to help us, visual and audio examples, to help us understand this better. And I'm not some Nancy or, 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 or some, sorry, sorry, Jewish moms. Jewish moms, like some people like to use as a, a terrible cliche. And like, I'm not forcing crap down anybody. So besides they can leave, they don't need to listen to any of my crap. They could like, up, oh, I'm gone. I don't want to hear that crap, you know? Um, this is just talking and sharing and trying to keep that conversation going and trying to continue to be an advocate where we need to be. And not a crazy advocate like we've seen, like this whole whether we want to call it the whole like constraint extremely left side or extremely right side we're trying to find that little level in the middle where we can all kind of coexist without too much if you will quote unquote craziness but it's that's that's frivolous because where do we set craziness you know there's all these levels as we continue to share and again we're just we're here trying to open up and get the conversation going about psychology and and how we can find ways to coexist talking needs to be a tool used whatever version we use it as whether it be an auditory uh, a visual or something that like shows up i should have like like have that flash up on the screen like i i don't know if my cc works i've been trying to integrate cc so that it works closed caption um, on on my uh, 
weekend updates. I don't know why it's not working right. I think, or sometimes it'll translate it wrong or something like that. Anyway, you know, we, we, we just have to use those pieces to help understand that. So then we get through all that. So that's all I'm saying. I hope that God forbid, it's going to take me another five, 10 years and I can't go out and work, you know, seven more jobs. I'm already working four and I can't do anymore. I'm overdoing it already. And I've known what my extent of how much I can already do is. So it's not that simple. And it's just, you can tell, it's just exhausting. And you can't just say, ah, forget about it. Or let's not even talk about that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. You know, or no one wants to talk about this stuff. And, and it be, just becomes this, this never ending cycle of chaos. And don't worry, I did notice that uh, as well. Let's try to reconnect as well. And I'm glad that that doesn't show on there uh, while, while we're doing that. Um, so I, I think with that, we, we kind of covered a lot today. I, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm already approaching my 40 minute time frame. I think we're gonna, uh, today we're gonna share. Uh, now, this one was not easy. I had had, we had had someone uh, donate a long, long, long time ago, uh, a partial piece to this particular character. And I had been slowly over the years, every once in a while, I had a few bucks here, a few bucks there. I would try to find piece by piece by piece. And we officially, as of last week, I have officially finally finished connecting the parts. Now he does turn on, but he clicks and he knocks. He doesn't quite work. But I finally found that backpack to make the, the whole thing come together. And this week, my friends, I have brought over Gen 1 Omega Supreme. I'm going to try to turn him on here, but he's going to just click and pop at you. Okay. It sounds like a da 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 like, you know. So there we go, my friends. I finally find the rest of the tracks. Uh... It, it, I had to make sure I was buying the, because my luck, I kept going, oh no, am I going to buy like the wrong track piece or have like a double? I'm like, I don't want doubles. I have a few doubles over there that I'm looking at right now that I'm still trying to, to sell. And this this is the backpack. This is the Gen 1 Omega Stream. It's not the the reissued one. The reissued one looks beautiful. Some some will say otherwise. But that's, that's that backpack that makes the whole magic work for, for Omega. And I had to... Actually, these are actually 3D printed. I had to buy a set of 3D printed because I think I only had like one or two of these, these little pieces originally. I would like to get some yellow um, paint and actually look, make them look a little bit more yellow, to be honest. There's, there's a few more wings up there too that I would like to color a different color. Maybe get some black or some blue uh, as well. And, and so there's that. Um, you can tell, sadly, I think one of the feet's kind of loose. Um, there as well, um, and there's there's this chassis, and you saw the, the you saw the head light up, and the the, the oh, not this one. You can see this is kind of flimsy, but it's you know it's years old. But I'm excited to finally, basically, finally, it's feeling like, you know what it feels like? It feels like a puzzle. You had a puzzle from like, you know, 30 plus years ago, okay, and you can never find the piece, and somehow. From luck be lady tonight, uh, you find this particular piece on eBay, you know, or some online option, right? Or auction, whatever you want to call it. And it finally arrives and you're like, you should have seen it. I wish I had it on camera because I put it and I feel like you would have been like, oh, you know, like this amazing, like, like epiphany moment, you know? It, it just, you know, like, you know, like in an anime, you'd see like, like the lines go, you know, behind the character, you know, to in, enforce emotion, you know, and um, so that that was an exciting moment, and that's sort of what I was leading up to before is is that there's these small possibilities that I may have um, possibly some um, void for, or maybe a, a couple of roles coming up. They're not going to be that big, uh, that I'm aware of anyway but there is some possibility. I'm not going to say anything because when you sign those papers, you're not supposed to say stuff, but you can hint at stuff and not tell anyone any important info. And it's, you know, you, you, you prep for your whole life. I started as a kid and I, I did everything from studying film to television shows. We, we watched countless hours and hours, you know, just studying it meticulously, you know, 
uh, everything from TV show after TV show and, and radio plays and doing radio and doing voiceover and doing commercials and you know working with music and understanding music and having a compassion for music uh, as well as you know and I studied cosmetology a lot of that I did though for my LGBT family out there Mwah. I'm gonna send in some some love to my my LGBTs I even made a uh, lip sync karaoke weekend and but they blocked it from TikTok that, to send some love to all my LGBT family that had been showing me some support lately by the way and um, I also did cosmetology because it helps you learn a lot of the hair, skin, and nails. Learning about that for uh, cinema and for film. And then my one of my first jobs, aside from mowing little old ladies' lawns when I was like 10 and 8, bringing in, in wood and stuff like that and taking care of you know pigs, chickens, and, and, and farm and learning self-sustainability. Uh, you know, you, you continue to learn about that and acting and film and every little thing I can pick up along the way and writing and producing and film studying all genres and styles and class after class after class and, you know, day after day after week after week, month after month, year after year and so on and so forth and decade, decade. I spend, you know, my luck, my whole life studying this, all this particular art, all this 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 these forms of fashion and how it works and the robotics and like special effects and you know microbiology and understanding every little ounce of that profession you know and yet others are like i just want to get like twenty thousand likes you know and they can't even act and uh, i'm not again it's frivolous depends on how you'd want to define how someone sounds and acts you've got to understand um inflection and, and you've got to understand that. A lot of people I've talked with don't understand inflection and they can't seem to ha wrap their head around it. But I, I wanted to share here with you um, sort of what I've called my, my 30 plus year old puzzle that we never got to complete. And it was so exciting to finally complete that. And then um, I, we, we, things have been a little rough. You know, we, we kind of bounce back and forth. Uh, with me and my brother and I'm excited he's gonna be coming with me this week so I'm grateful for his support so um, I'm all excited I I love the three what is it the 3.6 or the three point whatever inch classic GI Joe's now I'm not complaining okay I want you to know that uh, but I was really amazed he found me I think this is the six inch and I always felt very connected not just to, to Sue Blue characters um, RC for those that know my car and I did that for a sign of hope, of course, uh, for those that maybe that don't know about that. Uh, check that out on my on my Instagram. You might have to page down a little bit into, into my feed, but um, I was excited. I always felt really close to this character. Uh, Lady J and then, of course, their daughter from uh, Marissa Fairborn as well. But not Marissa Fairborn. This is her mom. This is, this is Lady J. So I was all excited. This is the G.I. Joe. And I've been looking for this for, for a long, 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 long time. And my brother, I, he surprised me with it the other day. And uh, check out that gorgeous art on the back, right? It really, like, brings back some great retro uh, classic G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe! Uh, that, that's a line from the G.I. Joe animated film. Not the new live-action one. So, I'm sorry, the, the glare is, like... So, I can bring that up, too can see like she she really i really felt connected to this particular character i did a lot of things in the military that reflected this particular character um i yes i know i did want to do air force i did try marines air force i think i ended up doing army um, there was a lot of issues about glasses back in the day when it came to air force even though they they, I struggled and I couldn't switch over and then I was told I'm too old at that point and then it didn't matter because they changed the rules and then you, if you got context you could still go in the air because I wanted to do space travel I wanted to be able to eventually work towards Air Force which would integrate me into um, the uh, NASA uh, I, and they even had called me for like when we first applied for like the first 500 people I've even applied to go up 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 to the um, region that is created as this I don't want to say synthetic but this this created region of d domed areas to 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 recreate what Mars would be like and you have to live in that 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 circumstance for an extended period of time and then I've reapplied recently they had a new reapplying uh, recent for that as well and um, but again they're gonna tell me I have too many lists of psychological trouble so I can't go so checks that one off 
even though technically if you know who I am that's not what it was about it was about other things he got very irate and upset about other things and, and they misinterpreted what that is so that they they think I'm I'm high risk and um, it moves me down the list and then I'm too old and even though I know someone that's like 16 years older and they're they're going up and then um, a lot of the people getting an opportunity to go up I'm very grateful that I don't want that to sound like like I'm spiteful or something um, it's again it's the inflection of what we're trying to talk about of what you certain you know they say reach for the stars but that all depends on hu certain human beings it's not about yourself doing all these things yeah it is to a point but there's always some human being that wants to stop where you're at and not allow you to get there. Maybe someday that human being moves away and then someone else steps into that role and, you, and then you have a chance. Or you're unlucky once again, or whether someone will say luck has nothing to do with it. Uh, or you get another individual that once again will not let you go any further. And it ends up, and then you end up trying to do it sort of on your own, but you can't start a multi-billion dollar corporation so easily on your own it can be done but it's it's complicated and then when you don't want it to be part when you don't want to be part of this 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 in my opinion messed up system that's about money like money has to go away in my just my opinion and then and then there'll be all these rebuttals are like nope i'm gone see you later and they already like clicked out they clicked out of me probably 20 minutes ago they got like a minute in and i'm like no i've gone that's fine I appreciate those that stick around this long. Heck, like I said, I'm crawling up on the 45 minutes. We're going to get into our calendar now. Um, I could talk all day. I wanted to get in some time with you before we we, we um, finished up because I know I'm not going to be... They, you're, they're going to have to enjoy what I've created today um, as sort of a holdover because I don't anticipate to possibly be back for a month. Now, if I can get the strength... I might surprise everybody. I won't be able to talk, but maybe, like I said, I can get some papers and pop just just to let you all know that I survived. Because I know I started out a little morbid, <laughs> but um, oh yeah, I forgot that I was trying to update this. Da, 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 da. Time for an upgrade. I don't want to spend too much. I'm trying to save all my gold to, to get those heirlooms upgraded. So I think with that, I just wanted to say Happy Harvest Festival for those that are still enjoying that in game as well. For some of those are sticking around, not finding it sour or boring to be part of this 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 whole uh, game experience anymore. Um, again, we we just use this now as uh, a tool, and I might pop in every once in a while offline. It's just I don't want to give somebody um, what we call a quote unquote garbage stream in any f form or fashion. We're we're just trying to share with you um, some joy, and uh, I think so. Harvest Festival's going. We got. Pirates Day, yar. If you catch me on Sunday, then it'll be Pirates Day for a couple. Don't forget to go down to yar, me booty bay. And if you want to get your 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 Jolly Rancher toy, Jolly Rancher, the the, the Jolly Roger toy uh, down there, you've got to do some 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 spec moving around, a rep rep moving around, rep grinding for a while. And we've got time walking coming coming up this week as well. We've got, and that is not the time walking Legion yet. When that one does drop. That well, speaking of drop, I was trying to move my phone and it just slipped off. The, it's okay. It's got a special case for it. Uh, the, when that does officially drop now, the tentative, all right, here, I'm putting out my guess now since I'm not going to probably be on until when it probably, I'll probably be back on approximately when it drops. 9.1.5, in my opinion, will possibly drop either 19th and 20th, depending on what region of, of country you're in. Or, let's say the 26th and 27th. That's my prediction. Because approximately, if you're staying up on Renowned in retail right now, you get two week, and I should be finishing that in, uh, what is it? Five weeks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So, five more weeks as of this Tuesday. So, I did the math, and that's my prediction. Um, and we'll see how that prediction unfolds. And when that happens, that's that Legion time walking we're talking about. That will go live when 9.1.5 goes live. We'll get that, I think, for a couple weeks, and then Legion goes away, and then it goes into the rotation of, of the time walkings. And this particular time walking coming up this week, I, if I'm correct, I think we're up back up to to Mop. Yeah, Miss of Pandaria. Okay, so a pet battle uh, bonus event ends. That's that, that's been going on this past week as well for those that want to get in that that little time to to do some pet grinding, if you will. Um, 
the uh, PvP Brawl Arathi Blizzard uh, that's beginning as well. So this is that time of year when we get a lot of those little... Uh, ones, uh, sorry, Kata, let me back up. I was getting my getting ahead of myself. Probably those noticed I was in October or it is. I was jumping the gun. Um, I meant to say we're doing Kata time walking um, this Tuesday. My apologies um, for anyone that was getting exciting for Mop, Mop's next time walking um, as well. And then, of course, uh, I won't be on for, like I said, for a few weeks. So we've got Battlegrounds coming up. Uh, uh, of course, first part of the, the month will be a Dark Moon Fair. We got Brewfest. I don't think I'm going to be able to get on to do the Great Gnome Regard race again. Again, um, th there's a link for that, but we did that. That's a non-for-profit, no trans left behind uh, non-for-profit that we run as well uh, for those uh, to help those as well. Day of the Dead will be coming out. we got Halloween and All Hallows End that will start on the 18th if whether I'm here or not here. 9.1.5 in retail will be dropping. I know Phase 2 has been underway now for Classic. Uh, as well and I, th I think with that we're gonna kind of wrap this up i think um i hope you all stay safe please continue to to try to um, find some patience and find a way to coexist with one another um, i hope you all can find a couple of things that you need to do to pull yourself through that oh i'm gonna before i, I wrap up with with my closing uh, I was just going to finish my, my time stamps. Um, and then two weeks prior to my surgery, let's back up for a minute. Um, I am now at the point where I have had to stop my meds for a few weeks. One week was, I had to stop my vitamins. Some will say it's ginkgo biloba and vitamin uh, D6. But I just for, I was doing a multi and I'm just going to stop the multi completely right now. Uh, which, not now, I mean I was, I did it this like last week so i haven't been just just for safe safety sake um and then i have to do even though i have my my covid card um showing my my two pfizer shots um, i have to do a on um coming up this monday i have to go there and pick up my narcotics and and the meds and then i have to um pick up the or i'm gonna have the um covid quick test and i should no, by Tuesday, and then I have to bring those results with me or send those results to the surgeon. And then um, I, I'll, the, it's going to be happening between Wednesday, Thursday, and I, God forbid, I hope Friday. I don't want to give too much details because I don't want them to go, ooh, she's gone for three days. You know what that means? Party at her house or let's break in and steal everything. Um, not that that. So let's just hope I bounce back after, 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 and everything goes safe. That tentatively, I'll just be glad to get home and be with Miss Cutie. There she is. I, I planted that. I hope you've all been enjoying Miss Moore along because we know you're here for her, not me. I'm kidding. Kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're here for both. Uh, it's all good. Um, and I think with that, I just I wanted to share a little bit more of, of sort of the, the calendar and the prepping. I'll go over more of that once I can actually speak again. Um, I'm not supposed to speak for about three weeks, so like I said, it'll probably be about four weeks uh, before I can probably get on. We'll have to see how that plays out. I think with that, let's take a couple of things, um, in, two things to take with you into, into fall. Uh, share with me a couple of things that, that you like. Fall is my favorite time of year. Share with me your favorite time of year uh, in, the, in the four season changes that we get. And I'm, I'm very, very excited for fall. Uh, I'm hoping for some new hope ahead. And the hope doesn't fade too quickly. And I, I think with that, take those two things. Call me four weeks from now instead of two in the morning there. And I think once again, I hope I will talk to you all very, very soon. We will see you on the other side. And once again, we will hopefully in approximately a month, see you later.